Welcome to this tutorial on simulation of turbulent flow in a 2D channel using OpenFoam. In this tutorial, we will learn how to implement K epsilon model, set up turbulence parameters, run the simulation. To record this tutorial, I am using Linux Mint OS version 18.3, OpenFoam version 7, Paraview version 5.6.0, Gedit text editor. However, you may use any other text editor of your choice. The steps explained in this tutorial are identical in Ubuntu Linux OS. As a prerequisite, you should have basic knowledge of turbulent flows and fluid dynamics. You should also be familiar with simulating a flow through a pipe in OpenFoam. If not, please go through the prerequisite OpenFoam tutorial on this website. The files used in this tutorial are available in the code files link on this tutorial page. Please download and extract them. Make a copy and then use them while practicing. We will use the Simple Foam Solver to simulate this problem. Simple Foam is a steady state solver for incompressible turbulent flow. The diagram shows a 2D channel of length 65 meters and width 1 meter. The kinematic viscosity is 1 e to the power minus 5 meter square per second. The inlet velocity is 20 meters per second. Outlet pressure is set to zero atmosphere. Reynolds number is 2 million and the flow is turbulent. K epsilon is a widely used RAS turbulence model. It is a two equation model. It solves the turbulent kinetic energy transport equation and the turbulent dissipation rate transport equation. Let us set up the case. Download the k-epsilon folder provided in the code file and extract it. Open the terminal by pressing Ctrl, Alt and T keys. From now onwards, Please remember to press the Enter key after typing each command in the terminal. Let us open the Run directory. To do so, type the following command and copy the downloaded file into the Run directory. To do so, type the following command. I have downloaded the file into my Downloads directory. Please change the path as per your machine. With this command, we will navigate to the k-epsilon directory. y plus is the dimensionless wall distance. For wall function approach, y plus value should be between 30 and 300. Let yp be the distance between the wall and the nearest cell center. For our case, yp is 0.00155 for a Y plus value of 100. For channel flow, the skin friction coefficient CF is given by this formula. The additional reading material has more details on the wall function approach. It mentions the steps used to calculate YP. Type the following command to view the content of the system directory. This directory contains the block mesh dict file. I have already set up the block mesh file for a 2D multi-block channel with this YP value. Let us take a look at the initial and boundary conditions of the flow variables. Let us take a look at the inlet boundary condition for kappa. We will use Turbulent Intensity Kinetic Energy Inlet. This calculates kappa using the user-specified turbulence intensity. For our case, 
turbulent intensity is 0 0.0261 and turbulent kinetic energy is 0 0.41 meter square per second square. Let us take a look at the inlet boundary condition for epsilon. We will use turbulent mixing length dissipation rate inlet. This calculates epsilon using kappa and user specified mixing length. Mixing length refers to the turbulent length scale. Kappa value is automatically put in by the solver. Here, the turbulent length scale is 0 0.07 meter. And the value of the turbulent dissipation rate is 0 0.61 meter square per second cube. Next, let us take a look at the wall boundary conditions to be used. Turbulent kinetic energy is set to KQ R wall function. Turbulent dissipation is set to epsilon wall function. This slide shows the outlet boundary condition. Zero gradient boundary condition is imposed at the outlet for both parameters. Kinematic eddy viscosity is a dependent variable. Hence, its value is calculated by the solver. At the wall, nut wall function is used. The additional reading material has more details on the boundary conditions. Please refer to it. Let us take a look at the boundary and initial conditions for turbulent kinetic energy. Open the K file in a text editor. The internal field is initialized as 0 0.41. The inlet boundary type is set to Turbulent Intensity Kinetic Energy Inlet. The keyword intensity represents the turbulent intensity and is set to 0 0.0261. We have passed the internal field value to the patch field value. Outlet is set to zero gradient. The patch type for both walls are set to KQR wall function. The internal field value is passed to the patch field value. The front and back patch is set as empty. Close the K file. Let's take a look at the epsilon file. Open the epsilon file in a text editor. The internal field value is initialized to 0 0.61. The inlet type is defined as turbulent mixing length dissipation rate inlet. The field mixing length is set to 0 0.07. The internal field value is passed to the patch field value. The outlet patch is defined as zero gradient. The wall patch type is set to epsilon wall function. Close the epsilon file. Now let's open the nut file in a text editor. The inlet and outlet patches are set to calculate it. The wall patch type is set as nut k wall function. Close the nut file. Next, open the velocity file in a text editor. The inlet patch is given a fixed value of 20 along the axis. The outlet patch is set to zero gradient. Close the U file. The case is ready to be run. Type block mesh to mesh the geometry. Type simple foam in the terminal. The simulation will take some time depending on your computer's hardware. The word end indicates that the simulation has finished successfully. The slide shows the velocity profile at the channel exit. With this, we have come to the end of the tutorial. Let us summarize. In this tutorial, we learned to implement K epsilon turbulence model, set up the initial and boundary conditions for turbulence parameters, run the simulation, 
as an assignment change the inlet boundary conditions for kappa and epsilon to fixed value repeat the simulation for a velocity value of 40 meters per second change kappa and epsilon accordingly the video at the following link summarizes the spoken tutorial project please download and watch it we conduct workshops using spoken tutorials and give certificates please contact us please post your timed queries in this forum do you have any general or technical questions please visit the forum given in the link the FOSI team coordinates solving feasible CFD problems of reasonable complexity using OpenFOAM. We give honorarium and certificates to those who do this. For more details, please visit these sites. The Spoken Tutorial Project is supported by MHRD, Government of India. The script for this tutorial is contributed by Padmini. And this is Sweta from IIT Bombay signing off. Thank you for joining.